Hey everybody, Marianne Knowles here with Team Knowles Tampa Bay at Lively Real Estate. So I'm in Wesley Chapel today, which is located in Pasco County, and I'm sitting here thinking like, I cannot believe how much growth has occurred in such a short amount of time in Pasco County um, with all of the new developments and the new infrastructure. It's been pretty amazing. So for those of you who don't know, Pasco County is part of Tampa Bay. It is north of Tampa, and it's made up of cities like Odessa, Newport Ritchie, Wesley Chapel, Land Lakes. One of the biggest developments that's going on here is they're building a city called Angeline. And Angeline is um, ongoing. It's, gonna, it's a project that's gonna be going on for a while. There are people that currently live there. It's 62,000 acres of multi-use. So they're putting in homes, they're putting in schools, they're putting in a lagoon. Most importantly, they're putting in the Moffitt Cancer Center. That alone is going to take up about 800 acres of Angeline. It's going to be 140 medical buildings solely based on research and treatment. And I am super excited about that because that is going to put Pasco's name on the map. And I am just so excited to see what's going to come. Um, also, John Hopkins Children's Hospital is putting in another hospital in Wesley Chapel. This is going to be by Epperson, and that's another lagoon community. And that hospital is going to be about 115 acres, and it's projected to be complete in 2028. Double Branch, this is a new development that's happening. It's going to be a warehouse. They've already started phase one. I say warehouse. It's 2.5 million square feet. I can't even like wrap my head around that, but it's going to be a warehouse industrial center for medical and life science, which is just gonna be amazing. I can't even imagine 2.5 million square feet. And then lastly, um, they're putting in another hospital in Wesley Chapel. So re we already have Advent Hospital and we already have Baycare. 10 minutes from those hospitals, they're gonna be putting in Orlando Hospital. So the amount of job opportunities that are gonna be presented here in the future is just going to be amazing. Now, what does that mean for the cost of living? I don't know, and it's hard to say, and it's a catch-22, because I do have a lot of customers that prefer Pasco at this moment, only because price per square foot is cheaper than, let's say, Pinellas County. It's less congested. The taxes aren't as um, high as they are in Pinellas. Uh, but I don't know what that means for in the future, like what's gonna happen. Is the cost of living going to be higher? And I guess that's what happens when you have so many advances, is that the cost of living and you know the economy is just going to be building in that particular area but i'm so excited for pasco to have a name on the map you know we hear all of this new luxury buildings going up in pinellas we hear saint pete has blown up over the years so it's just really really great to see pasco having uh the attention so if you have any questions about pasco county please feel free to reach out otherwise we'll see you soon take care